what's going on guys welcome back to the channel hold on my glasses i'm Marielle, and today i'm going to be reacting to the akatsuki versus the phantom troop i always thought that the leader of the phantom troop was cool as hell like can't tell me that yeah i did not think he was cool i'm very interested to see uh how they're gonna go up against uh what's the shark guy's name i think would win my money i'm sorry to the phantom but I would put it on the Akatsuki only because it's the Akatsuki, man. Come on. To just like sum up this topic really quick, I mean, this video can just be like 15 minutes or whatever. It doesn't really matter. I wish. But it's pretty blatantly in the Akatsuki's favor. Like, you know, spoilers. Oh my God. Shocker. There is like very few things the Phantom Troop have going for them. So oh. let, let me just like kind of outline something very basic. All right. So you got Bona Lenoff. He creates the Jupiter jupiter ball and it kills like this this little ant with guns he still uses guns by the way kills an ant and it creates a, a crater in the ground like a, a decently small crater it's, it's implied that the ball hit the ground and that's why there's a crater there and it, like vaporize anything or explode or nothing just crush the ground right there and it was like oh that's like 109 tons of tnt or something like that you know it's pretty pretty beefy you know if a real person got hit by that they'd probably get squished to dust you know something crazy he's like you can't even outrun sound so, you know he's shooting the sound but that guy who created jupiter that guy could just go up against uh what's his name he the guy the immortal guy that cuts you night he has your blood so, you know, he's pretty pretty quick compared to the average fella you know you know then you have Uvo again he's like oh that super bazooka Yo, he got anything, body. and he catches it like broly and he catches an explosion like broly um he's able to chop off someone's head with his teeth he's able to catch a bullet in his mouth point blank it's like hypersonic speed and the volumes it's like he can punch with the force of a large explosion he wants to one day punch with the force of a nuclear bomb you know it's pretty tough you know mm -hmm. strong guy he's considered the physically strongest of the phantom troop you know and then you can have like weird stuff like Cortopi, the you know the obito of the phantom troop the true strongest member can create 50 whole buildings in the blink of an eye wow. and these are all really cool things but then you know you have, you have the akatsuki and you know they're fighting these things called you know bijou you know tailed beast that can vaporize entire mountains like in like one blast like and then the akatsuki are like brawling them and they're stated to be stronger than these tailed beast plus amps from super ninja on top of that while usually not even really trying because you guys have to remember whoever thinks that the phantom troop would win you guys remember that they used to hunt down chinchurikis and take them out of the person like a hundred or so tons to kind of like a couple billion you know and like <laughs> i i outlined this in my naruto and sasuke versus gone and Killua video that's coming soon but, you know so I, maybe you can go into detail like maybe like the phantom troop has like hacks abilities or something like why do people even think this is a thing like what do you think they're, they're going for there, i guess so there are a couple ways you could argue that the troop could like do something most of them uh, rely on crollo couple maybe you know take a look at like phaeton or <laughs> cortopi <laughs> Yeah, 50 buildings. Uh, the Obito, the bro, I'm telling you. <laughs> um, but, like, there's just no way to argue that, like, physically they they stand a chance against the Akatsuki. Because, like, you know, Bull Nelnov is, you know, he's pretty hype about his sonic speed. He's definitely not their weakest guy. Uh, I'd say he's probably about somewhere in the middle, lower middle. Then you take a look at, like, lower middle Akatsuki, and you get, like, Dater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dater uh, or like, I don't know, Kakazu or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, Kakazu is actually number one. Uh, yeah, stronger is? than the leader, my bad, unfortunately. But please don't. Please don't hurt me, Birdman. The fact that Bono Ledov is more like tuning exams level, which, by the way, there's actually a scene of like Tamari with her fan. She fights Tuyuya, and Kishimoto like goes out of his way to draw the sound waves like moving mm -hmm. at Tamari, and she's able to swing her fan faster than the sound actually moves. And this is like baby era naruto <laughs> like when they're not even like you know using really chidori or anything you know it's just kind of like the lesser characters who kind of get bullied by you know naruto or sasuke so it's kind of interesting that you know phantom troop member is like a huge deal and hunter hunter is like this trash can in naruto what i wanted to talk I mean. about though is 
maybe you can give your opinion on this. I've given my opinion on this before, I think, in Naruto and Sasuke vs. Konakilla, but what is your thoughts on Phaeton, the pain packer, and, you know, some people are like, it's as hot as the sun, you know, and stuff like that. The problem with the pain packer thing is, first of all, Phaeton summons a celestial body, or what he refers to as a celestial body, right? He calls the thing the sun, and this would be a lot more impressive. It would be a lot easier to say that it for sure is as hot as the sun if it then follows that Phaeton's probably not actually summoning the sun, and it then also follows that there's a fair chance that the thing isn't actually as hot as the sun. But even if it is, even if we fucking jerk him off and say it's totally... 100% solar heat level. Amaterasu is too. Like, yeah. It's, it's not really... And I, it doesn't stop like really burning nerdy, either. You know, actually, you know, like mathy stuff. The other problem, which I'm gonna point out, is the Akatsu kind of just one-shot kill everyone to begin with. There is right. no, like, bruising or beating up. Naruto has, like, a lot of crazy speed feeds. Sick, do. poopy, like, not at nearly close to his strongest Itachi is you know able to pretty easily react to lightning he gets reanimated and he's able to keep up with people like Casey and Naruto or whatever he's able to react to a lightning speed attack from Sasuke I, like <laughs> yeah it's pretty it's pretty selling I yeah. mean he's I don't want to get into like whole light speed stuff you know maybe you could say Darui shoots laser particles you know reflecting off of water or Haku moves light speed or the Red Kage moves light speed you know the day or whatever yeah, that's, see, that's the thing, right? Yeah. We're, we're being nice to the troop. If we yeah. want to get into the uh, the really, really unfair shit, yeah, you can go look in the data books where it claims Haku is the speed of light. And yeah, there's, like, so much weird... But in almost every anime, someone's always as fast as the speed of something. Like, it's... I don't know. Um, I don't really see... I didn't know that this was a debate to begin with, but seeing that it is, I don't understand how people would choose the phantom truth i'm not understanding we especially if you know all of the akatsuki's abilities and you've watched naruto you would know how strong the akatsuki's are like these people were feared and i understand that the phantom troopers were also feared in their own show but they don't really they're going up against regular not regular because you know if you're a uh if you have your hunter's license then you're not really a regular person but on the Akatsuki side, they have a person with a Gen Gen Genkai. I, I forget how to pronounce it, but they have that. They have um, an immortal person. Like, it's just a lot going on for the Akatsuki that they don't really have over at the Phantom Troop side. So I don't really see how this is even a discussion. Not hating and on the on Phantom Troop, this, by the way. I like them, but Hunter up Hunter against the Akatsuki, well, so come on. It's like at the end of the day, a real debate to be had, and we can wrap this video up soon, more so a real debate to be had would be Maruem versus Hidon. Also, Hidon, them facing up against him would already be difficult. Like, one of the smartest people in Naruto, Shikamaru, he had to put him, bury him underground in this thing, in his forest of deers. Like... That's the only way he could even think of defeating him was to put him underground so that he can't come back out. So, this dude's immortal. You know what I mean? So it's like, how is this even? But whatever. He might. I, I dare say, like, there might be random Jonin who might. Remember that random Jonin who like <laughs> fought Madara for like yeah. two seconds with a sword? Yeah. Like that random Jonin with a sword that fought Madara for two seconds would probably like beat up like Madara. Like, <laughs> unironically, I mean, that, that wind blast that knocked Madara over from Tamari might, like, wipe out the whole troop, you know? You, you remember that, like, okay, like now Mara, they're like, took on Madara that by the too. foot and, like, threw him? Like, that would probably, like, yeah. slap Marum against a wall or something. Anyway, I don't want to make, I don't want to make the, the Hunter x Hunter fans mad. Like, I do, I do think, you know, uh, Hunter x Hunter has some feats going on, but they're, the thing about it, so I will agree, Hunter x Hunter is not about, you know, heavy power cliffing happening over and over and over again you know there's not they're not trying to you know constantly it's not it's not like you know the pokemon card game where they're trying to constantly you know like amp the series over and over and over again they kind of want to make keep you know certain concepts relevant more um whereas you know naruto kind of turned into like this dragon ball thing where all the characters started like kept escalating to the point of you know otsutsuki alien you know planet parasites we don't even really need to get into too much detail i think that's really all
all needs to be said. But if yeah, like it's just you know be any one YouTube from the Akatsuki and you already know that the Akatsuki would win when they didn't even get to the like the strongest people in the Akatsuki. Like this video was just pretty much them like talking down on the Phantom Troop. But I mean, who really wouldn't? If they can, if the low ranking members of the Akatsuki, lowest ranking ones, I think, wouldn't really have an issue with uh, the Phantom Troop. So if you don't even go into mentioning the strongest members of the Akatsuki, then they're not really as strong as the people who would choose the Phantom over the Akatsuki. Like, it, it's not. If. Like I said, if the lowest members from the Akatsuki can beat them, then what can you really... There's not really much you could defend. But if you guys do have, like, you know, your own theories on it, let me know down in the comment section below. There's really no point in finishing the video, even though it's only, like, a couple minutes left. Because all, they're gonna, all they've been doing so far was <laughs> trashing the phantom troop which is not bad but uh we didn't even get to the other members of the phantom or the akatsuki so you already see who has this battle in the bag but i hope you guys enjoy and let me know what your thoughts are and whose side are you on are you on the akatsuki side or are you on the phantom troop side and if you're on the phantom i'm not judging you but please explain to me why um and let me know what you guys want me to react to next this full video will be down in the description box below if you guys want to go check it out and show some love to the original creators of this i'll just say episode of this video and i'll see you guys in the next video